Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. Well, I can't technically, of course, because I'm speaking to a phone, but you can see me, obviously. So I just wanted to share with you a little update about sim clinic development and also uh, a little tip that you might find useful to help while you are in your uh, self-isolation or quarantine or wherever you're finding yourself at the moment in regards to sim clinic. So those of you who have looked at the program for semester one before this whole COVID thing came about might have noticed that semester one is essentially practicing a series of activities and semester two, which you haven't seen yet, is essentially the assessment of those activities. So semester one is practice, semester two is assessment. So what we've done is we're looking at condensing down the entire programs and activities so we can fit it into one semester. So you will still have the same range of technical activities to experience, but we won't have the opportunity so much to practice and assess them. So that side of things will be a little bit different and, and very flexible and is still being discussed at the moment. But the important thing to bear in mind is that we are uh, making it so that you will still have exposure to the same number of activities. The second thing I wanted to mention to you is something that I used to do when I was a student in second or third year, and we're talking mid-90s here, so we're going back a while. And the problem with Sim Clinic when I was going through, I found was that unlike the other subjects, academic subjects, you can't really revise, you can't really study. It's a technical activity, of course, and so Unless you've got your mannequin and your desk and your setup and everything at home, how can you practice? You can't. Well, in fact, you can. Uh, we just have to be a bit flexible and use our imaginations a bit. So, I wanted to share with you something I did as a student. And uh, I think if you practice it, it'll be quite helpful um, for your own psychological well-being and feeling as though uh, you're doing something from the technical side of things alongside all your revision and study that I'm sure you're taking advantage of in this time off. So, to do this activity, you need four things and they're easily found around the home. One piece of paper. One mirror. No! One pen. One large book. And then simply place your mirror thusly, your book thusly and then having placed your book you take your piece of paper place it under your thusly placed book thusly and looking in the mirror if you squint it looks remarkably like a dentition after which you can start to write or draw to your spleen's content There you are. Now that's what I call a simulated clinic. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That was Tom's terrific technical tip. Uh, it's the only one you're getting, frankly, because I don't have much more to offer than that. But I think if you do that 20 minutes a day, a bit like flossing, it too will remarkably improve your gingival health. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd check in, show my face, and uh, wish you all well. And uh, I'm sure that this is really a test of our character. And we have every opportunity, if we stick together, to come out of it stronger than when we went in. I wish you well, and I'll uh, speak to you again soon. All the best.